we found a crack within the brake drum. Um, it goes all the way along there, then up the side as well. Um, it's very uh, strange the way it's happened. We can't understand why it's happened, but if you look at the coloration of the drum in here, you see the discoloration there? That's all to do with heat. And that must have happened when it did its run, because it hasn't done any work since. Um, so the drums got very, very hot. And you can see, actually, inside the drum here, there's these little marks on the cast iron. This is actually pickup from the cast iron when the brake shoes have been working against the drum. All these little lumps here, and it is lumps, they're not hollows. It's drawn material out the, out the surface of the brake drum and deposited it further round. So it's not smooth at all in there. So we've been attempting to, uh, to repair the crack but we're failing because the material again is a very strange material and it's not welding very well. So we're going to have to take advice on, on either trying to, trying to um, repair that crack or we're going to have to cast a new drum, so, which is a bit disappointing. And it's uh, quite amazing because normally if you've got a crack in something like this, it's, uh, it doesn't uh, ring, but this does. As it continues, normally when it's cracked, it'd just be a dull noise. But this will go on for ages, you know, so it's very strange. The whole set is strange, but that's a project for the future. The actual brake shoes distorted um, through the heat that was produced. Um, and they were aluminium brake shoes. And we've seen pictures of the, of the lining on the material moving with a distortion of the uh, of of the brake shoe as it as it got so hot so this is one of the the brake shoes which we've just had relined um, the original lining had been contaminated with oil and grease um, over over the years as so it's just been sat around plus it's pretty well full of asbestos so uh, we thought we'd better do the right thing and remove the asbestos reline them um, which has now been done. We were originally going to bond them on. That was what the lining uh, manufacturer said he was going to do, but he's gone ahead and riveted them exactly the same as they were originally, which is good as far as I'm concerned. So that's all been done now. So all we've got to do is finish off rebuilding all the drums and everything else, and then we can refit everything. So it's just the lining material was in... I think it was in blocks rather than a whole shoe. And when Seagrave tried to slow the car down initially, it got so hot that the brake shoe started to, started to distort and melt. Um, so all the linings all moved all over the place. So uh, the brakes were absolutely useless. And I believe that he drove it into the surf to slow the car down to... Um, because it was going so quickly and he didn't have any brakes so he used the surf to slow the car down but obviously after that attempt they then replaced the brake shoes with these bronze ones so I believe they must have taken bronze shoes with them as well as the aluminium ones because they wouldn't have had time to make patterns and cast new ones because they're quite quite a difficult casting you wouldn't be able to do that overnight so they must have taken spares with them. I know they did take a lot of spares with them, but we don't know what they took. And that's probably one of the reasons why we found that crack in the brake drum. It's, you know, red hot cast iron going into the sea wouldn't have done it any good. We're lucky there's only one of them that's cracked. Um, but we'll see what we could do welding processes wise. Otherwise, we're going to have to cast a new one and we'll probably cast a pair for the back.